cameras hang on here hope everybody had a good week I was crazy like weirdly crazy Where's my phone? videos oh hey guys hi Sharon hi Carla live i want to go to view and control room look i'm getting a hang of this youtube thing okay all right if you're on youtube land i can now see your comments i'm still working on facebook here it is a, a fall friday up here in the pacific northwest and up oh, there i am and it is a uh, Absolutely beautiful outside. Oh, what did I do? Oh, Linda's on from Texas. I see that. Come on. Sorry, guys. I can't see anything else yet. Good night. Janet. How's everybody doing? I am pretty excited about my um, project tonight. We are going to have a good time. Oh, Lawrence is on from Ohio. Hi. going on with Facebook land oh Rose is on hi Rose <gasps> it's Brittany hi Brittany hi sweetheart oh Carla said that you and you're in Georgia right Carla you had nice weather this week that's good oh Lee Tom Sims says lunchtime here are you in Hawaii are you on the Hawaii time zone all right, Nancy's on from Lake Stevens. Sorry, guys, I can't see. I don't know what's going on with um, Come on. What's going on with uh, Facebook land? I can only see a few comments. Hi, Cri uh, Quilts by Chris in Nebraska. Thanks for joining us. Oh, Rose says hello. I saw that. You guys on Facebook, you can see the things. Lots of, I know, right? <laughs> Maybe it's because I choose to post that cute little, little Halloween. It's a pillow topper. Oh, okay, good. Here's Kathy from Decatur. And Chris is from Lake Havasu. Hi, Chris. Um, I'm trying to get this to open up. Oh, there, I did it. Why is it that when technology is working, it's my best friend, and when it is not, it is my worst enemy? All right, I am sipping a Copper Creek Syrah tonight, and uh, it's pretty good. Um, oh, 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 Bridget from Rimrock says, oh, she is, <laughs> girl child, you are talking about one of my favorite things. So Bridget says, have you seen Tula's upcoming fabric line, Alice in Wonderland and the Queen of Hearts? amazing so i do watch tula's tuesday tula tuesday her video oh true i i just to see up with the true cut rulers and cutter for the uncoordinated <laughs> i hate cutting sharon says i get that <laughs> um and i have bridget and i'm already in love i love that it's her sister jojo as the main face i think that's pretty cool Oh, good. Cindy's on. Cindy, I sent your um, your screwdrivers today, so those should be to you next week, no problem. And Debbie's on from Kentucky. Hi, Deb. Hello from Red Granite. Oh, love my earrings. What am I wearing? Oh, thank you. Fun. You guys are fun. Okay. Oh, hi, Sandra Garcia from YouTube. Thanks for joining us. All right, so we are going to work on this table topper or pillow topper tonight. It comes to us. Oh, Carla says Queen of Hearts is fabulous. Mm -mm -mm. Take all of my money. Just open up my wallet and take all of my money. It's going down. And Mom is on from Texas. Hi, Mom. All right, so I was working on oh, right way, Lucky Charms this week. Um, this is the so. If this is the first time you're joining me and it is Friday which means this show is me hanging out with about 
oh, I don't know how many of my closest friends and we are just chatting. I'm sipping a, a nice glass of wine and I'm working on a quilt project and we are chatting. So um, Monday night show, oh good, Julia's, uh, Julia's on from Texas. Hi, Julia. Um, if you are looking for a content rich show, this may not be the one for you. We are literally just kind of chit chatting and talking about uh, quilting and feather weights and having a fun time this Friday afternoon. This is my favorite show of the week because uh, all of my gals and, and guys, Lawrence, I'm not forgetting about you, get on and just kind of hang out. So, um, oh good, Pam's on, hi Pam. No evil twin sister tonight, Pam, just me. You just stuck with little old me. <laughs> So anyway, um, I forgot, why did I forget? So I ordered this glow-in-the-dark fabric, which is an isocord. I saw one of my emails come in this week, and it said that uh, isocord now had a, um, a glow-in-the-dark fabric, and or thread, and um, I have to admit, I tried glow-in-the-dark thread like 10 years ago. It was not isocord, it was something else, and it was really big. Oh. <laughs> It was really bad. Like it kept breaking like it was metallic thread and it made me want to poke my eyes out. So I kind of swore off the um, the glow in the dark thread. <laughs> Carly said the evil twin is so funny. It's a, it's been an ongoing joke our whole lives which one of us is evil or not. I Because I, she's not here to defend herself. It's totally her. It's not me. I'm the good twin. Um, anyway, so when I saw this email come out last week for a glow in the dark thread, I was a little apprehensive about it because... Um, I had so much trouble. Oops. I had so much. Sorry, guys. I'm here. Are you there? Sorry, I was getting a phone call. Here, let me. Well, she's. It's evil twin. Can you? She, she's. Can. Denise is trying to call. Okay. She's just. She's gonna have to say. Oh, Donna's so and so. I was wondering what your initials were. D B B D S N S. That is awesome. Well, welcome. Where is your shop, Donna? Um. Anyway. So, but when it said it was an isocord uh, glow-in-the-dark thread, and I've used isocord on all of my machines before, I was like, okay, I'm willing to give it a go. So I ordered it, and then I forgot I ordered it, and then I got a call yesterday, and I got really excited about it because I knew I was going to be doing this table to or this pillow topper tonight. Oh, I started telling you about it. So this is a 20-inch pillow topper. So I'm pre pre quilting it, and then it'll be sandwiched. I have a 20-inch um, a 20-inch pillow form to put in it. Oh, West Virginia. Oh, almost heaven. That's awesome. Well, looks for, thanks for joining us. Um, and uh, anyway, so I did, I went back and forth about whether I was quilting traditionally on this or I was going to do like a, um, like a spider web or something. And I decided I was going to do it traditionally because that's how I roll, I guess. Okay. So let's get to some stitching. I'm literally just doing some um, some feathered wreaths in here. Oh, and I did take this into one of my darker bathrooms, and this thread is so bright. I wonder if it's going to freak me out if I like get up in the middle of the night and I walk out to the family room and I see this pillow sitting there. I'm going to be like, wow, what's that? I was um, looking at my email earlier and I noticed that one of the um, posts, the newest post, do you guys have next door where you are? Next door is like a, it's like a neighborhood specific Facebook, if you will. And um, anyway, someone was asking about what everybody was doing for uh, Halloween this year. And I thought, yeah, we didn't have COVID last year because COVID didn't start to like late February, early March here with the shutdown. So I was kind of curious <laughs> what everybody's going to do for Halloween this year. I mean, I don't, I do not have any young kids, so obviously I'm not going to be 
attempting to trick or treat, nor would I have been COVID, no COVID. Hi, DS Mitty, how are you? Um, oh, is that Deb? Deb, did you switch over to Instagram? <laughs> uh, anyway, so I was kind of curious, have any of your grandkids' parents talked about, like your, your daughters or your sons talked about what they're doing uh, for Halloween? Ah, Becky King made it. Hi, Becky. All right, Pam Green said, La uh, hope, enjoy listening to all your laughter. Twins can really get each other going. It is so true. You should, ah, good. <laughs> you should hear. So Denise and I have an older sister. Her name is Deb. So it's Deb, Denise, and Darlene, the three sisters. And um, I was, I was the last one to get my name because my mom had um, let Deb, my old, our older sister, name Denise because they were again they weren't expecting twins, and so then. My mom was like, well, Deb, Denise, I need another D name. And my mom said she went through the name book at the hospital and um, saw the name Darlene. And Darlene was her favorite Mouseketeer, not Annette, but Darlene was her favorite Mouseketeer. So there you go. That's where I got my name. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I think uh, this year might be kind of interesting. I'm... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to hand out candy or if I should pass out candy or what. Oh, Cindy said, girl, you have a matching nail polish on. It's, it's just me. I love green. I wear a lot of green. It has to, it doesn't, I didn't do it on purpose, I promise. <laughs> let's see, like a fast machine. Oh, let's see, like a fast machine. It is, oh yes, it is a very fast machine. Yep, I have that. Uh, Christina Van Tassel says, hi, yeah, I've been having issues with the darning quilting foot not lifting up properly being too close to the base. Oh, so you're, I know exactly what you're talking about, Christina. So the arm that goes up, oh, that's funny, Donna. She said, my sisters are all named with these two, also mom and dad. I think my mom was a glutton for punishment because when you have three daughters that are named D and you're trying to get one of your names out quickly because some, something's happening and you're trying to get their attention and you're like, da-da, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> she never could get the name out right. Um, so Christina, what, what um, hitting too close to the base. So I think what you're saying is, um, I'm gonna scoot, uh, so you're on Facebook, Christina, I'm gonna scoot this camera in a little bit more. Ray, can you go to the, my machine camera? So I think what you're saying is this arm right here is hitting too close to the base. So when you go to pick up your presser foot level, it hit, hits the base. Mine do that occasionally too, Christina. And all I do is I just kind of gently bend it out of the way so that it doesn't hit my base. See how much of a correction that made? And then um, it goes up and down freely and you don't have to worry about hitting the base. I think that's what you're asking me. But respond, respond back if it's not. The, a little tidbit when you're free motion quilting and you need to adjust your hands or move around the... Uh, the uh, um, quilt, make sure when you stop sewing, make sure you end needle down. Um, and that way your project doesn't slip out. I also try to end at a point or a natural change in direction for stitching. So that way if I don't start right back up again, I don't have like an ugly little hip hip out. That happened to us too. Oh, I bet that did happen to you too, Donna. I need to switch to Facebook so I can see where, yes. The view on Facebook is better because I have two cameras set up on Facebook and YouTube, actually. Um, Instagram doesn't like to play nicely with any exterior software, so um, you unfortunately just have the one static movement. Okay. So my plans later, Denise is coming over. Here, I'm going to scooch this back again so you guys can see better. Um, because 
She had a rough day today. So Denise has worked for a very large cellular company for years at, in their accounting department. And because of a recent merger, she was ripped. Reduced in workforce. She was very clear to say she wasn't fired. She was ripped. <laughs> so she had to turn in all of her stuff today. So she was sad. So I said, come over. I'll make you dinner. I will cheer you up. Hi, Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. Hi. Can I, can I show your thing? Okay. You guys, Bonnie Pelton, she is a buddy and a fan in Illinois. Um, send me a picture of her, of her quilt as you go. Look, don't you love this color palette? The peaches, and then she added the secondary green in. Bonnie, I love this. Okay, sorry. Your question. Oh, go Do you back. prefer to what? Go back. The camera was on the other. Oh, one. I'm sorry. Wait, come back. Here is oh. Here is her color palette for quilt as you go. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay. Bonnie wants to know if I prefer to stand when you're free motion quilt quilting. Actually, um, so it kind of depends, Bonnie, what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, I When I'm on camera, I like standing because I can move closer to read comments and then move back. Um, it's harder to do that when I'm sitting down. If I'm free motion quilting for a long time, then I for sure will sit down because I can only, my, I, um, my legs, depending on if it, if it's a heavy workout in the morning, I work out almost every day. Sometimes my legs are super tired. They feel a little like spaghetti. So I need to sit down. <laughs> All right. Uh, Christina said that and the whole foot is too low and the fabric isn't moving freely. Oh, um, so it sounds like your presser, Christina, your presser foot, when you put it in the down position, you're saying that it pinches the fabric and it doesn't allow you to fluidly move. So you must have a different style than the one I have on here, the one with the spring maybe. The adjustment that you're looking for, actually, Ray, can you go to my secondary camera and I'll show her the adjustment. So the uh, Christina, the adjustment you're looking for is this little um, circular thing at the top here. It might, it could be almost touching the machine. See how mine sits up just a little bit from the machine. If it's down to the machine, this is your presser foot pressure adjustment, and you can adjust this righty tighty for lower, but lefty loosey for making it come up a little bit, and then it may not pinch your fabric so tightly in. Hey, I wanna zoom so. <laughs> I know, don't you think that'd be fun if we did like a Zoom Friday, like happy hour and we all can be on so we can all see each other? That would be fun, I should do that. Quilts too much, that's a good idea. Oh good, Deborah says, phew, better. <laughs> oh, now the whole foot is too low and the fabric won't move freely. Oh. Debbie Allen Sinclair, did you see the adjustment? I think I picked up the camera and moved it a little closer. Having trouble here with your broadcast. Oh, I have a good connection. I don't know. Is Are you guys out in Instagram land? Can you see okay? Are you having any trouble? Okay, thank you, Nichiro. Oh, let's 
see that sign. Oh, okay, good, Carla. Everything's good? Super. You're welcome, Miss Christina. I'm glad I was able to help. That was a good question. That, <laughs> Deborah says, that machine absolutely flies. This is my school bell. Why do you think I'm like so um, picking her as my favorite lately? Oh, good. Everything's good now. Fabulous. All right, one more little block in this row. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to alternate on a diagonal level. Um, I mean, honestly, this machine runs like this motor is a replacement motor, and it's not. That's crazy. Oh, Lawrence, I don't know why it's been on and off. I'm sorry, watching on Facebook. Okay. So, I don't know what my husband's doing upstairs on the Wi-Fi. decisions oh so Sharon if you go over to Facebook land um, she says is there a way we can see the quilting close up let me I'm actually about to take this off I'll show you but Facebook has a secondary camera on the decking of my machine and you can see what I'm doing a little bit better oh Sandra says how do you get the octagons to lay down so flat and even my mother let my aunt's name for us, so my sister Juanita, and of course mine is Sandra. That's fun. Oh, she let your aunt name you. That's pretty cool. Um, so I get mine, my thing to lay down. I pressed it really well, and when I was doing my rows, Sandra, um, I was making sure that one was pressed one way and the other was pressed the other, so they nestled nicely. So then I have a nice flat seam. I'll show you guys what I'm working on on the front camera here. Okay, you can see my little, um, I'm just making little swirly feathers. You can see a little bit better on the back. This is as far as I've gotten. Okay, so I'm going to alternate. I think, I think what I'm going to do actually, hmm, let me think. Should have made creative decisions before I got on camera here. Um, I know I want to alternate two different quilting patterns. Um, one of them is going to be these swirling feathers, and then I want to do something uh, different, like totally di different. I was actually thinking of maybe doing some straight quilting. Uh, maybe I should echo. That's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to switch off of free motion here. Can you see my little cheat painter's tape? What's your favorite design to do in free motion? Pam wants to know. Um, that's a tough question. I really like doing feathering work only because um, it is very unusual to see these little machines do that kind of fancy intricate work. And so, and, and I can sit down and do it on any machine. It doesn't really matter if it's a modern machine or if it's a feather rake. So I really do like feathering. Um, I also uh, do, my favorite thing to do when I'm doing a quilt is to alternate two different designs. And if I'm gonna do something in free motion, I like to try and do something in straight stitch also to kind of have like a flattering complementary stitch pattern. 
So, oh, <laughs> Bonnie said thank you. She was the one I showed her picture earlier. Um, I just pulled for my stash. Great, that's exactly what I wanted everybody to do, is just pull from your stash. Uh, Ray, can you go get me a walking tray? I think Dad just got here. Who just got here? Daddy was out. Okay, guys, hang on one sec, I'm gonna grab. No, I, I can do it. Oh, oh Ray's gonna go grab it. Okay. I just need a walking foot. Because I think I'm gonna echo this pattern here. <laughs> So Brittany, my friend in Mesa, Arizona, with a different last name than the last time I saw her, she says, when are you hosting a free motion quilting retreat? So COVID, that's all I can say is COVID has messed up all of my plans. I actually had kind of a fun, um, uh, I'm call was calling it, gonna call it quilt camp. Featherweight camp, and we were going to do it here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, maybe next year when COVID is hopefully run its course, um, I'll be able to do that. But Brittany, I'm coming to the desert. Did you hear? I'm coming to the desert in December to do some classes at May in Mesa at Quilters Oasis. Yay! I want to do, um, I don't think the classes I'm going to be offering, Brittany, are anything different than what you've already taken. So I kind of was thinking about doing like a little reception so I could see people that wouldn't necessarily be like quilting, um, you know, like wouldn't have to necessarily be education focused. Um, so uh, I, uh, I'll have some more details out when I can find a venue to do it um, in. I have an idea, but I don't want to say until I make sure it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love to see all my buddies. Oh, let's turn the sketch regular later on, darling. Okay. So I think all that I'm doing, going to do here in this alternative section is I'm going to just echo this really pretty um, octagon for, is it octagon or it has six sides? What is that called? Those math whizzes out there, what is a six-sided figure called? I know an eight-sided figure is called an octagon. <laughs> oh, Pam says your work is so consistent looking. Thank you. <sighs> oh, okay. Let's do a coffee date, Brittany. I want to do that. I'm going to be, uh, Brittany, I'm going to be on the meet and greet this Saturday for Oasis for the... Um, on their Facebook Live on Saturday morning. I'll be on. Yay! Make sure my stitches are good. Now, if you guys have one of those Westerly feet, you know which ones I'm talking about? Those, um, I, don't, I don't sell them, but those feet that um, are for using the rulers, the Westerly rulers, um, you could have done this pattern without having to redirect your fabric every time you change direction which would be a lot easier than what I'm doing in this little neck machine oh goodness what pressure put down <laughs> okay do you guys want to see if I can get mine to work
the gun. Thank you, Miss Brittany. I knew there was a name. <laughs> Deborah, Becky, thank you, Hexagon. <laughs> Do you always turn the wheel towards you? Yes, Peggy, that is a rule. Peggy Morrison wants to know, you notice how I'm always rolling this wheel, hand, hand wheel towards myself? If you roll it backwards, you'll wrap the thread behind the bobbin assembly and have a thread jam. So it's always only forward. Okay, I'm gonna grab my Westerly, I think I've got my Westerly clip handy here. See if I can, uh, this is for the, let's see here. No, shoot, this is the, never mind. Boss alarm. That is for, hang on, maybe I can find it. Oh. That's my Eleanor Burns impression. Nope. Not in that bag. Let's see here. in my pen can. I'll show you guys what I'm looking for as soon as I find it. Ah ha 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 ha. I found it. Okay, I'll show you guys what I was looking for. Okay, so instead of fussing around with the fabric every time I change direction, let's try something different. So this is the Westerly Ruler starter package. I used to teach this when I lived in Arizona. And it's um, this is the Ruler Foot Starter Package. It comes with a art ruler and a little presser foot. And I think I paid $55 for this back in the day. Um, anyway, what you do is you put this on here. It acts like a long arm hopping foot. Oopsie. The trick with this guy, though, is to get the depth of the foot perfect. Otherwise, you kind of run into trouble. All right, so let's see, Becky said, I'd love to see the ruler work. Okay, we're gonna try this. Does your tension need any adjustment when switching? Yes, Brittany. My tension needs to be tightened. My upper tension needs to be tightened when I go from walking foot to free motion quilting. Free motion quilting is always a tighter, um, a tighter upper tension assembly. Angel wants to know, can all feather weights do free motion quilting? Yes, they should be able to. Um, you, <laughs> Donna says you look like me with all my bags. I know, I think my neighbors think I have a shopping problem because they always see me with, with my polka dotted bags. And then, you know, I, uh, it's, not, it's not a shopping problem. I just have a, that's my teaching kit. All right, and Ray is commenting. Thank you, sweetheart. So also I'm gonna do, I need to make sure that this is not on here too tight. I need to be able to freely move this around so let's try this i also so this is the ruler that came with my um with my so steady it's called so steady the westerly ruler foot but i actually like so i got this ruler from um my late friend who owns the woodenville washington quilt shop and it's uh, made by quilter select and it's kind of rough on one side and it has a nice thick depth to it for when you're um, when you're rolling down the quilt. Let's see, we have Jennifer. Hi, Alabama. Hello. Except I'm signing in from Mississippi. Mini vacay. Huh, that's my kind of of gal there. She is on a mini vacay. So okay, I'm gonna try. 
to do this. If I don't have the foot to the right depth, then it won't stitch. So let's see if I got it. It won't make a stitch. There, okay, I caught my bobbin, that's good. Oh, I gotta put, sorry, I forgot I have to put my tape back on. thing with the reds. I don't like them when they get in my way. Okay, cover, pierce, drop up and down. Grab my bobbin thread. Okay, let's see. Hi, Lisa from Connecticut. Your quilt got there in record time. It just left Seattle on Wednesday. That's crazy that it made it to Connecticut in two days. Oh, Nancy said, so happy to see you demonstrating this. I have one, but I have yet to use it. Okay, chicken, we're going to we're gonna try this tonight. All right. So let's see here. Oh, I see. You know what, guys? I can't use my thicker ruler with this because it hits the, um, it hit the, uh, the little knob that holds the foot on. So I have to use the, the lower one. Okay. So again, what I like about this is I'm not, I don't have to like move my fabric. Oh, what did I do? Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, maybe this isn't going to work. What's going on? I'm getting hung up on something. Now, if you are not great at free motion quilting, this, <laughs> um, this is not a particularly easy skill set. I, th I think a lot of people that took this class with me when I taught it in Arizona thought that this was kind of a quick fix because they were having trouble with just the pace of the free motion quilting in general. This is, there's no quick fix to this. This actually takes a little bit longer. Oh, I have a lot more YouTube. Oh, good. Angel said hexagon. Thank you, Angel. And let's see, can all feather weights do that? Yeah, hexagon and six heptagon. Oh, heptagon is seven, octagon is eight. Decacon is 10. Nice. <laughs> Angel says I'm a teacher. <laughs> can you see the foot you, can you please see the foot you just took off? Oh yeah, the foot I just took off, Sandra, is the walking foot for the feather weight. What did I do? Oh, did I put it back in the box? Nope. Oh, there it is. This is the foot we sell. It's the Singer. Um, it's not really a Singer. It's made overseas. But this is the walking foot that I like that doesn't pinch. Hi, Kathy Kirkland Quilter. She says, late to the party. That's okay as long as you're here. I'm doing is echoing these these um hexagons thank you guys <laughs> do you ever teach or visit texas so miss angel i am um so my family lives in texas red tonight yes i'm drinking a syrah copper creek vineyard 2018 syrah 
Um, and so my family lives, my older sister, Deb, lives in uh, Forney, which is Kaufman County, just east of Dallas. And my mom and dad live there too. We're not from Texas. We lived here most of our lives. They just have moved there later on. Um, is that the part of Texas you're in, Angel? In the Dallas area, what part of Texas are you in? Barbara wants to know, you need an elongated table from So Steady. <laughs> I know, we have those on our website. Um, not the So Steady one, uh, one from a gentleman that makes them for us in Arizona. And that would definitely be helpful when you are doing ruler work to have a, 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 high, a harder surface. Oh, wait, something happened. Oh, is my thing. Oh, hold on. Something's not right. Hold on. I got some kind of a knot. What's going on here? All right, I think I'm going back to... Um, Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but I want to go back to my, my, no one's going to see this anyway because uh, it's going to be in the pillow. Oh, Dallas is five hours away. Okay. So are you like south of Dallas Angel, like down in Austin or Waco area? For, or you could be closer to Houston, five hours. Texas is a big state. Oh, Houston. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would probably not be in the Houston area. If I was able to come and do some classes, it would definitely be so I could visit my family at the same time. <laughs> you guys, am I losing my mind? <laughs> what did I do with that black ink that I just showed on camera? Oh. Lord, it's on the bed of my machine. I promise I don't normally switch back and forth like this on a regular day. This is testing my ability to keep my machine tuned and intact. Okay. Back to the walking foot. Where did I end? make some little stitches here to restart. Can you guys hear Rogue whining? He's upset because he thinks it's dinner time. Rogue is my black lab. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. <laughs> Austin is only about three and a half hours from Dallas. Okay. Please show the echo. I will, I will, let me finish this one line, Mr. Lentz, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So Rogue is my black lab, and he thinks it's dinner time, and it is not dinner time. Dinner time is in... 15 minutes, but he's, so we, we lock him out of this room because otherwise he comes in here and he starts whining that it's dinner time and it's not. So he's a little upset with Reagan and I, he's in the stairs, letting us know that he thinks it's five hours. <laughs> okay, so you can, I have to trim some threads, but you can kind of see the echo. All right. Let me just do this other side here on the other side of my
the reason why I'm bringing my bobbin thread up to the top is because I don't like rat's nests on my the back of my quilts. And even though this one's going to be literally in a pillow topper, you won't be able to see it. Anyway, um, I just I, it's just a habit I've gotten in where you bring your threads up to the top before you start. Oh, more buffering. I don't know why I'm having such a... I think it's just Facebook. Well, tonight. So this week has been a little crazy for me. I was able to actually get in front of some customers this week, some fans and customers. I tell you, I felt like I was going to make it. <laughs> um, so one of my favorite quilt shops in Woodenville, Washington is a... Um, has a restaurant that is next door and it's, she has a tent right now to be able to be able to see more people on the weekends and um, so she doesn't use it during the week and so she allowed the fabric shop to let me hold a couple of demonstrations and um, and an open sew. Oh. Oh, you're welcome, Brittany. I mean, you're Lawrence for, she, she says, thank you for showing the echo. Oh, Bridget said, I have a 17-year-old pug. He always thinks it's dinner time. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I love that. Any kind of feathers. Nice, Jennifer. Thanks. And so anyway, I was able to do some demos there this week, and I had... Um, she let us first it was just supposed to be for a few days at the beginning of the week and then she the owner of the restaurant was like you know what I'm not using it all week do you guys want to do something else in there and so I was able to host an open sew with some friends and featherweight showed up I didn't I didn't say you had to have a featherweight um, I just said you know any machine quilting machine and we had six stations and four people showed up and Ray and I and we had a lot of fun. In fact Kirkland Quilter was there. So I finally got to meet her. She like her and I li lived in the same neighborhood for years but never crossed paths and so she came out and met me in Woodenville this week which was really sweet. Nice to put a face with the name that way if I ever bump into her at the grocery store I can be like hey it's Kathy. Okay, I'm just gonna do, oh, what am I gonna do here? One more row of this, and then I think just given the fact that Facebook is misbehaving. Oh, the first foot I had on, you changed your walking foot. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandra. Um, the first foot I had on was my free motion foot. <laughs> it was really nice to meet you too, Kathy. And it, it is the one we sell on our website for like $12, featherweightdoctor.com. Miss Sandra, this is the one that I use for free motion. All right, I'm just going to do one more echo pass here. And then I'll probably be out of time anyway. Well, this week we have another block for the Quilt As You Go. Um, on Wednesday, I don't know the the week or what city yet, but I'll probably talk about it on Monday. Monday is the Ask the Doctor. If you guys have any questions you'd like me to answer for quilting questions or um, or quilting and featherweight questions, send them over to my email, and I can um, have Ray make up a slide, and we'll talk about it on the show. It's um, Monday at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and that's on all the platforms, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Oops. 
Technically, this week is quilting questions because uh, I was trying to say that the first Monday Ask the Doctor was going to be in honor of the quilting questions, but honestly, if you have a featherweight question, I'll probably talk about it. So. Loretta said that her Facebook was working fine. Keep hearing repeated words. Keep getting interrupted. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, sorry. I'm having trouble playing this video. Okay. I think I'm going to jump off because I think um, I'm having some connection trouble with Facebook for some reason. So I'm going to jump off a few minutes early. I really appreciate everybody joining me. I hope everybody has a great weekend and get some sewing done. Um, the weather around here has been kind of crummy in the morning, so I know I'm dedicating my Saturday and Sunday mornings to doing some fun sewing. Uh, again, if you have any questions for me to answer on my Ask the Doctor for Mondays, you can email info, I-N-F-O, at featherweightdoctor.com. Thanks, Carla, for joining us. Uh, and then uh, if it's quilting or featherweight questions for Monday. And other than that, I'll see you at 4 o'clock on, uh, on Monday. I hope